This video is sponsored by Phoenix Pro. Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I've already done guitar wireless demos here on my channel, but in this video, I get to do something a little different and show you guys the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 wireless mic system. Here we go. The Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 is a four channel UHF wireless mic system with auto scan. And at only 299 US dollars, it is one of their best selling products. Big thanks to Phoenix Pro for sponsoring this video and for sending me my very own PTU 7000 wireless mic system. And if you're part of the notification squad and you're watching this video as soon as I published it, you can take advantage of Phoenix Pro's Easter promotion from April 10 to April 17, 2022. They are giving away a PTU 7000, the exact model that I'm featuring in this video. And if you're interested in other Phoenix Pro products, there is a second link that will give you 10% off your entire order from their website. And if you're watching this at a later date, then those will be replaced by an affiliate link so you can help support me and my work on this channel. Thank you so much. The PTU 7000 comes in a couple of different configurations. The first configuration is the one I have right now with the receiver and four handheld mics. The second configuration is the receiver with four body pack transmitters with headset mics, just like what I'm using right now. Both configurations use the same type of receiver so you can mix and match handhelds with body pack transmitters. However, as I'm editing this, I do have to mention that I very much prefer the audio quality of the handheld mic versus the headset plus body pack combo. The PTU 7000 is built as ideal for DJs, churches, and outdoor events. So in this video, I am going to subject it to the real world gig environment. I'm gonna cut in some clips recorded over several shows with my band Rock Stallion. And later on, I'm going to do a virtual sound check. That way you get to see and hear the PTU 7000 in action. Okay, now let's do a virtual sound check. I recorded the multi tracks onto my laptop and I'm gonna run those tracks back into the Behringer XR18, Rock Stallion's live mixer. And then I'm gonna edit it picture in picture style. That way you get to see all the mixer settings just as how we had it during the gigs. Okay, so here we are in Logic and this is my project file for the first gig. And then here's the one for the second gig. And here is the one for the third gig. So we got to use the PTU 7000 at three gigs in three different types of venues. Okay, so the first gig is at a pretty small venue. And you might think that there's no need for a wireless system at such a small place, but it actually worked out to our advantage because having four different wireless mics meant less stage clutter. That also means that there's less chances of somebody tripping over a cable and we can pretty much position the mics wherever we want. 
Our lead singer Rafi likes to move around and entertain the crowd, so going wireless also allows him freedom to do so. Okay, so here's how the band sounds straight out of the mixer. Okay, now I'm gonna mute the instruments and just listen to the PTU 7000 handheld mics. Okay, here we go. The PTU 7000 handheld mics do a good job of picking up what's in front of it and not much of anything else. So I'm gonna play back just one of the vocal tracks. Here's my background vocals. It'll sound weird because <laughs> I'm on my own here. So the volume of my voice versus the background noise has a good uh, range to it. So I could probably strap on a noise gate onto this track and clean up all the bleed in between my vocal takes. Don't stop believing. Now here are all the vocal tracks together without the band. Don't stop believing. Okay. And then with the rest of the band, everything just blends in quite nicely. Okay, so that is the first gig. Now the second gig is a bigger venue. It's more of like a concert hall type maybe 200, 300 people capacity. And we were on a bigger stage, there's a dance floor, and we were further away from the mixer. So um, during the night, Rafi's mic, since he's the one moving around a lot, uh, I could hear through my in-ears that he was experiencing some dropouts. But those dropouts happened really quickly and did not interfere or disrupt the flow of the gig. So let me find one such um, occasion, hold on. Okay, so here I found a dropout. Listen. Listen, ground, I'm reaching for you. You, you. It's very, very quick. And if I put in the rest of the instruments, you, you'll barely notice it. Listen, ground, I'm reaching for you. You, you. Okay, so that shows you how quick the PTU 7000 deals with interference and dropouts. Now I did mention that this venue was bigger than the previous one. So our mixer rack along with the PTU 7000 receiver unit was situated a little further away from us towards the back of the stage. And in my in ears, I also noticed this weird fluttering noise that apparently came from Rafi's mic. They say it in the road and no place to start a family. There, towards the end of that line. Because of our mixer rack setup, the PTU 7000's antennas are pointed straight towards the back. So for bigger venues, we probably need the Phoenix Pro antenna kit. That way we can mount the antennas towards the front and point it towards where we are on stage. Okay, so here's the third gig and that venue size is in between the first one and the second one. So medium size, maybe 100 to 200 person capacity. In this venue, Rafi's mic also had a few quick dropouts, but that was when he went into the middle of the crowd. <laughs> so yeah, for mixer rack setups like this, the front mounted antenna kit is a must. Okay, so I'm going to solo Rafi's voice and then pull up the X-Air mixer app so you can see what we're doing EQ-wise. As you can see on screen, there is a lot going on in the EQ of the XR18 mixer. Let me play back Rafi's vocals again. There's no sign of the morning coming You've been left on your own Like a rainbow in the dark And then I'm gonna bypass the EQ and this is what the PTU 7000 handheld mic sounds like raw. There's no sign of the morning coming You've been left on your own Like a rainbow in the dark So there's a lot of um, low to low mid energy 
um, on the mic, especially since Rafi's like really singing close to the mic. So there's also a lot of proximity effect. So with the EQ, I had to carve out a lot of the low end, plus a little dip in the low mid and boost the highs as well. And a little cut in the high mid because his, his voice is already naturally sharp sounding. So this just rounds it out uh, a little bit more. Now let's see, let me put in the rest of the band and you can hear that it still cuts through the mix. Cuts through nicely actually. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's a few more things that you need to know if you're going to use the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 in a band situation. Okay, here's the PTU 7000 with the antennas installed and already I, there's the one thing I don't like about this unit and it's this. You hear that? So the rack ears are loose somewhere. I've already checked all the screws and everything is tight, but there's this play right here. And here's a close up, well as close as I can get it. You hear that? And you can actually see the, the face plate moving. There aren't any screws securing the top part, so that might be it. If it was a desktop unit like this, it should be fine. But if it's going to be mounted in a rack and it's going to be moved around, then there's that issue. And I'm just not sure how long that will last before um, it gets worse. Battery life is as advertised. In fact, the included batteries that came with the PTU 7000 lasted all three gigs. And that's with some of the members forgetting to turn the mic off in between sets. With each gig lasting three to four hours, I'd say battery life is pretty good. And moving forward, we'll be using rechargeable AA batteries. I found this eight pack of rechargeable batteries with the appropriate charger on Amazon. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that the PTU 7000 does not come with included mic clips. They come with these rubber bumper stoppers. These are more useful at karaoke places so that you can place the mic down on the table and these rubber bumpers will keep them from rolling around. I did find these mic clips on Amazon and these come on a four pack. These are flexible enough so that they can conform to the PTU 7000 handheld's heftier size. If you're interested in this and the rechargeable batteries, I will put Amazon affiliate links in the video description. I did end up using these colored rubber bumpers, mainly for mic identification. I mean, you could put a mark at the bottom of the mic like this, but the color just makes it easier to identify and assign to a specific band member. So Rafi gets the blue mic, Henry gets this yellowish orange one, I get the reddish orange one, and Mark gets the green one. Okay, there you have it. That is the Phoenix Pro PTU 7000 wireless mic system. Big thanks to Phoenix Pro for sponsoring this video and for allowing me free reign in presenting the PTU 7000 to all you guys. And again, if you're watching this video as soon as it's published, take advantage of Phoenix Pro's Easter promotion. Sign up through the giveaway link to get the chance to win your very own PTU 7000 wireless mic system. And if you're watching this after the promo period is over, I will replace that with an affiliate link so you can help support me and my work on this channel. Thank you so much. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, Hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. Let me know what you think about the PTU 7000 in the comment section. Okay, click on an end card to go watch another video, or you can go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys.